the accounting process. So the purpose of the accounting process is transcribing the enterprise's financial transactions as distinct information for interesting parties. Now, before we do the rest, let's quickly go and look at the accounting process. So firstly, the accounting process always starts with a transaction taking place. And hopefully, if the business is doing well, daily there will be a, a couple of transactions taking place. These transactions are entered into the source documents. Source documents are typically stuff that you know already, checks that your parents might have written out, a receipt when you've paid for something at spa or checkers, um, maybe a till slip when you've paid for something and they've printed it out of a till slip. So those are all known as your source documents and daily they are written out by the enterprise or by the business. All of these source documents are then entered into something that we call journals. Now you would get to know journals in just a little bit. These journals are then daily updated with the information coming from the source documents. Once a month, at the end of the month, these journals are taken to something that we call ledgers. And ledgers are then updated once a month. From the ledgers, we draw up something that we call a trial balance. And obviously that is also then done right at the end of the month, as soon as the ledgers have been completed. So every month there will be a trial balance for 12 months. And then at the end of 12 months, we draw up our financial statements. So our financial statements, this is only done once a year. In other, in other words, this is annually when we do this. From the financial statements, the accountant or the bookkeeper will need to analyze the financial statements. So an analysis of the financial statements is done also once a year. And then the process starts all over again next year. We start with our daily transactions. So who will be interested in these accounting processes? Interesting people, people within the enterprise, such as the owners, the managers, the employees. People outside the enterprise, such as the bank managers or the wholesalers. A businessman should know that enough money flows into the enterprise and that money spent by the enterprise is not wasted and whether the enterprise is profitable or not. With the information available regarding the financial position of the enterprise, the owner can make the following decisions. Whether he must keep the enterprise as an ongoing concern, whether he must expand the enterprise and whether to bring changes into the business. So at school, bookkeeping and accounting activities are recorded by hand. But obviously a business nowadays where technology is all over the place, they would mostly make use of computers to record any bookkeeping for the business.